Hey guys, it's me, the queen of fun and fast cooking, and I'm here with another easy recipe for you all. Today, I'm going to show you another way to create coconut rice. This method allows for the infusion of the coconutty flavor into the rice, and if you love some coconuts and a good serving of rice, then you better grab a pen and paper, sit back and relax while you watch. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Delicious Cooking Series. I hope you all are doing okay and keeping safe this period. Today I'm going to show you a simple way to make coconut rice. I already have a coconut rice recipe on this channel, but I'm showing you another way to do it. A simpler way, a more mouth-watering and delicious way. And you definitely trust me on this one guys. The taste is absolutely amazing. It's quite simple and it requires just a few ingredients. Let me walk you through the process. But before we go on, if you haven't subscribed, please kindly subscribe and join this delicious family. And if you like this video after watching it, hit the like button, give us a thumbs up. You always feel super duper excited whenever you get all of the likes. All right, guys, now let's get right into the cooking action. Start by cooking your protein of choice. In my case, I'm using some chicken. Transfer the chicken pieces into a pot and then season with some onions. I'm going to be throwing in some Valido curry powder. If you've been watching my channel for, for some time now, you know that I'm absolutely sold out on, on the Valido products. And this curry powder smells absolutely divine. So I'll just put about a teaspoon of that in my chicken. I'll also be using it to cook the rice as well. And then I'm throwing in some thyme. I'm also using paprika powder, some seasoning cubes, salt, and some garlic paste. Stir to combine, cover the pot, and allow to cook till the chicken is tender. Now you can add some water midway into cooking if needed. Okay, so guys, now that our chicken is simmering nicely and cooking, we're going to go ahead and roughly blend our chili red bell peppers such as tatashi and then some scotch bonnet peppers as well um, but before we blend that i want to take some time and talk to you about my coconut milk of choice i usually like to use the store-bought coconut milk because nobody has time for the extra stress or serere it still gives me the same coconutty um taste and flavor but if you are um, into the whole fresh life and like to be very organic with what you do by all means you can use the fresh coconuts just crack this open which is going to take some time i'm just telling you ahead of time <laughs> just crack this open and then just peel out take, take out the hard shell cut the coconuts into tiny bits put it in your blender put enough water in the blender i would have shown you the process but it's a lot, it's a lot of work it's a lot of work it's a lot of work you just blend it till it's pureed and then use a fine cloth or a fine seed to extract the milk and that's what you have the coconut milk but if you don't want to go through that stress by all means you can use some stubborn ones this is not a sponsored um this is not a sponsored whatever i'm just telling you that coconut milk the stubborn coconut milk is the way to go and it's easy to find you can find it in your local markets you can find it in your grocery stores everywhere so just go for this option okay all right now let's blend Chop the chili bell peppers into tiny bits to allow for easy blending. Then transfer to a blender, add some water, and pulse to roughly blend it. That's the consistency you want to achieve. When the chicken is ready, take it out of the pot and set aside for grilling or frying. In a clean pot, add some oil. I'm using a combination of coconut oil and olive oil. Allow to heat up slightly, then add the onion strips and some garlic paste and stir fry for a few seconds. Afterwards, add the roughly blended peppers. Season with more valuable curry powder, some thyme, paprika powder, seasoning cube and salt. Stir to combine. Mm -hmm. 
then cover the pot and allow to fry for about 5 minutes or until the water content has dried out completely. The full ingredient list will be in the description box down below so be sure to check it out, okay? Now this is what it should look like after frying. At this point, add about half cup of the chicken stock. You can use some water to loosen up the sauce if that's what you have available. Then bring in the star of this dish, which of course is the coconut milk. One tin has about two cups of coconut milk. Add the washed rice, then stir to combine, ensuring everything is fully submerged in the sauce. Reduce your heat to the lowest, cover the pot and allow the rice to cook till it's tender. You know there's no way I'm leaving this food bland, right? <laughs> so add some chopped carrots, cover the pot again and allow to steam for about 3-4 to four minutes to soften it up. Now while that is cooking, I fried the chicken. I'm not sure how my brother was able to convince me to fry these chicken pieces instead of grilling them which is always my way to go. But anyways, I guess I'll do anything to make him happy since he's the one behind the camera and I don't have anyone helping me with my production right now. <laughs> After the carrots have had time to steam, add some diced green and red bell peppers and some sweet corn. Stir to combine one final time. All that's left guys is serving this on a plate along with the fried chicken and enjoying with your family and friends. Yum yum yum. So this is the only way you want to be making your coconut rice from now henceforth. The taste guys, like I said earlier, is absolutely amazing. If you are regretting this recipe, please kindly take pictures and repost on your Instagram and Facebook stories and tag me at Delicious Food so that I can repost for the rest of the audience to see it and get inspired to recreate theirs as well, okay? Alright guys, and of course I always like to see your recreations. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you next time with another mouth-watering recipe on today. And remember to be very kind to one another. Love yourselves generously and mwah, mwah, mwah. Take care!